Denmark's Mike and Frugard and Sarah Thiessen have been partners and friends for over a decade. Their story as a pair began at club level and they have grown steadily to become their country's number one women's doubles duo. The success, a result of an innate understanding of one another from early on in their careers. I was still uh, <laughs> at the youth tournaments at the time, I think, and uh, I think it's 10 years ago now. And uh, I had another partner in youth, but uh, our coach in Odense, he thought that it would be a really good idea for us to play together. He saw some potential and uh, we saw it too. So <laughs> we just chose to do it. Always in the beginning, it's yeah exciting and you don't know quite where this will end and go. And, and now is, we have this clear path that we want to go on. We know our game and uh, yeah, we just know each other. And on court, it's, um, it's like we can always feel each other where we are on court and where we normally will be on court. So when, when it's going good, it's in sync or what you can call it. It's, it's yeah, um, so yeah, we just, know each other quite quite well. We also have some uh, common friends from uh, Odense, where we played before we moved to the National Center. So we have a lot of girls' nights when we are in Odense and uh, having fun together. But uh, yeah, in the everyday, I think we stay a little bit apart to yeah, have the focus in the hall <laughs> sometimes. And space. yeah, <laughs> and uh, yeah, normally when we have we don't have COVID-19. Uh, we have maybe travel days for a third of the year. So we s and we stay together in hotels. So <laughs> we have a lot of time together. So sometimes when you're home, it's it's nice to be a little bit apart, uh, and then it's fun to be together when we're out. So we all were almost married. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> almost. <laughs> I think the Sarah's weakness <laughs> is her impatience. <laughs> uh, yeah, sometimes both on court and off court, <laughs> she's a little bit impatient. But uh, her biggest strength is, is that she's always there. She's really loyal, and she's always there for you when you're in need. Uh, That's a really good thing, both on court and off court, as a friend. Yeah, yeah I have the uh, one that's. It can be both actually, but but maybe. Maybe most uh, weakness that uh, Mang is really stubborn, um, <laughs> and when she has put her mind up to something, uh, she continues to do it. And sometimes it can also also shows on court <laughs> when things doesn't work, she keeps on going even though it doesn't work. But that could also be a strength. But maybe sometimes, uh, yeah, try something else. But um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, <laughs> and. Uh, also, actually, the, the strength is a lot on court is is that she also got my back, um, especially because um, in my game I can uh, be a little bit uh, what you call it, um, yeah, wild or when I see something I go at it and not always working, <laughs> and then uh, yeah, then she, she she quite has my has my back. Um, so yeah but also on off court, she also has my back. It started mostly uh, me uh, with a, um, only playing ladies doubles, uh, what, a half a year before Olympic was supposed to be. Um, then we decided to to focus more on the ladies' doubles, also because our chances in mix was weren't that big of going to the Olympics. So we decided to focus fully on uh, on the ladies' doubles, uh, also to give my body a little bit of a chance to do well and not get so much injured uh, again. Um, but of course, uh, mixed double is still a big part of. Of, of me and uh, Mike is also really good at mixed double, although she won't, weren't uh, always admitting it. But uh, she's really good at mixed double players, and um, so. But actually, I also got a partner in mixed double now, but he's just injured. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> For me, it's some some years ago since I played my my last mixed uh, game at a tournament. 
So yeah, at that time it was because uh, really wasn't a partner that fit into my game at the National Center. And then we figured out that maybe it's a good thing for me to only focus on the on the women's doubles here instead of having two focuses. So I practice mixed at home sometimes just for getting the net skills and uh, and stuff like that that I can use in my women's doubles and to get some a little bit more speed uh, in the games in mixed and uh, the hard smashes from the from the guys at home. So I practice it, but. Uh, I only played at team matches in, in Denmark. Yeah. yeah, so <laughs> for me it's uh, it's fine. I would like to play mixed at some point, but my priority is is women's doubles. Yeah. I think we stepped up when they stopped, uh, but I also think that we tried to not make it a big deal. For us, that we still have the same focus and the same same way to play our game, and not trying to expect too much from ourselves be just because we're number one. We still had the same things to work on and same issues. Yeah, so try to keep it as before. But we knew that from the outside there might be a little bit more pressure. But uh, I think we handled it quite well and and stepped up and took some good matches uh, right after.